loves and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be doing another a Ravenclaw rants video where I just basically talk about whatever I want and I just finished reading the fourth wing um listening to the audiobook actually but it's the same it's the same thing it's the same it's the same thing uh and so we're gonna talk about it there's gonna be like a little mini review on the book if this book went viral on TikTok, um, everybody's been recommending it on a book talk. Um, it is a new adult fantasy. Uh, and it also is a romance, it definitely has romance in there. It's a spicy romance too. It is, it is a, it's quite a, it's a bit spicy, okay? Um, I don't know if I would call it full-on smut, but it's pretty spicy. Um, and it has dragons. It has, oh my god, the, first of all, the dragons are really cool. The relationship, also the, the abilities, um, how the characters get their powers. Like, it, it kind of surprised me because, I mean, I, I kind of just went into it like, okay, it's really popular, but let me just see where it takes me. And for me, the world building was really well done. Um, the book itself is very well written. It reads like a young adult, but it's new adult because it includes spicy components. Um, and so it's easy to read. Um, the physical book itself is supposed to be like 600 pages, I think. Or is it? That's the Kindle version. I'm not sure. But I... Um, took out I requested the audiobook um from my the Libby app which basically s connects to my library because you should be supporting your local libraries if you're not you should definitely be doing that um but yeah this book has been literally sold out like even if you try to order it on Amazon you're gonna get it in August um it's been getting sold out like flying off the shelves like and it has um a really high rating on goodreads it was like the highest i think it was a 4.8 um and it's kind of fluctuating between that um but i was just like okay and people are like oh i say overhyped so like what is going on like everybody's saying this is the second coming of whatever book um and for me i just went into it like okay well let me let me just get into this this book and see see what's up see if i like the writing see if i like the flow the style and it just flows so smooth i love um violet as the main um protagonist i love um her mind i love um how she kind of approaches things there's certain details that she misses and then like especially when it comes to satan like it, it's just she misses a couple of things and I'm just like, okay, I'm waiting for her to like click, click a couple things in there. Um, I love the different characters in the book. Um, it, like the other characters as well really add to the story and the relationships that are built really add to the story as it continues to build. Um, <laughs> the romance are probably one of my favorite aspects of it besides like i love the <coughs> sorry i love the relationships that they have with their dragons um when you're bonded to the, the dragon and basically your powers are amplified by the dragon's power it's really interesting how it all kind of interconnects together but i love the relationships that they have to the dragon i love that they can talk to their dragons like in your head like you have that like telepathy situation going on um and the story itself, the romance is very, it, it was, I was just kind of letting it get me by surprise. And it was just so funny to me how there was multiple, multiple scenes of like this building of up, up into this relationship of, it is an enemies to lover story. And she has like every reason to believe that, you know, he wants to like kill her, but um it's really interesting to me how even though she still has that running in the back of her head like he every almost every single time he's in on a scene with her like in a moment with her he's 
showing her like he does things that like show like are trying to literally help her like literally trying to save her life into some so many different levels of capacity and at one point yeah it's kind of like when the whole situation i'm trying not to, not to make this like a spoiler um <coughs> review but when the situation happens with the dragons um and that connection that they have together um with the dragons like you, you can make that excuse that it's like oh he, he was just doing it for his you know for his own uh personal concern for his own life but to me i thought it was just like it just adds to the longness of things that he's been doing to really help her and keep her alive um and i just really i love the enemies to lovers build up it was very tense and very it, it was just really passionate and it it just even towards the end of the book um the, the plot twist and everything was really cool um very well written book it really immerses you like right away right when you start reading you're going to this war school and you're going to get caught up in this situation you got to survive um yeah i really enjoyed all of the different um characters i liked her sister's character as well um violet was just a really to me like i i understand her i personally understand just she's very very relatable in many ways some of the things that she does she's very relatable i also love that she um uses plant medicine to make poisons to weaken her enemies and stuff like i just there's certain certain things in the books that are just so well thought um that add to the overarching story of it all um so yeah i had a really great time reading it and so that's why i wanted to make this little spoiler free review um, I definitely highly recommend it. I think is one of the best books I've read this year. Um, and I've been, I've, my Goodreads is at 111, I think. Um, and that was actually my reading goal for the year. I had to change it to 222 books as my reading goal now because I already, I already met that expectation for myself. So I, if I meet my reading goal before the fall, I always just raise it higher. Um, just because I want to just, it's not even challenging myself because I yeah I'm, a, I'm at 112 books right already um for this year um not that, not that I just want to challenge myself but just because I love reading and I just wanted to add more to the year so why not so yeah I had a really really good time with this book I love the writing and the sequel comes out um the next one in the series comes out in November um the author said on TikTok that it's going to be around five books possibly it might that might change depending on you know but based on like what she's written down for the the overarching um bigger story is five books so i'm really excited because i love the writing um i definitely am going to buy the audiobook uh, because i i'm gonna want to re-listen to it and i'm gonna buy um i think i might wait and buy the physical hardcover copy because your girl's a hardcover girl um after you know all of the books comes out and it's like in a beautiful edition i'll probably like splurge and buy myself the set um i know that that some of the um special edition books already started coming out and as much as i would like love to just you know let me let me just get it i i really would love a beautiful set um i'd rather have that in my library so i think i'm gonna wait um but yeah highly recommend <coughs> <clears throat> if you haven't read it um highly recommend it's definitely a really fun fun series i can see it like on netflix or something i don't know i mean netflix has been kind of crazy lately with canceling and all this stuff but i can see it being put on screen it's a lot of content so i don't know we'll see where it goes but it's so it's really good it's a really good it's one of the really better series that i've read in a really long time um so yeah anyway that was my review i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in the next video